In a world where technology dances to the rhythm of electron flow, imagine a realm where electricity glides without resistance, even at the comfort of our room temperature. Welcome to the exhilarating journey into Room Temperature Ambient Pressure Superconductors, or RTAP for short. Our story is one of tenacity, genius, and the very edge of scientific discovery. The crescendo? A breakthrough that's tantalizingly just around the corner. Dive with us into this electrifying revolution, and let's explore the future today. Superconductivity is a phenomenon where certain materials can conduct electric current without any resistance when cooled below a critical temperature. For many years, this temperature was very low, necessitating the use of coolants like liquid helium to achieve superconductivity. This was a major limitation for many practical applications because of the costs and complications associated with maintaining such low temperatures. The pursuit in the scientific community has been to find or design materials that can exhibit superconductivity at higher temperatures, especially at room temperature and under normal pressure conditions. Such materials would revolutionize technology in many sectors, from power transmission and storage to transportation and computing. For much of the 20th century, superconductors worked only at temperatures close to absolute zero. The first superconductor, mercury, was discovered in 1911 by Heike Kammerling Onis and required temperatures below 4.2 Kelvin. In the 1980s, high temperature superconductors, HTS, primarily based on copper oxide compounds were discovered, which worked at higher temperatures but still required liquid nitrogen cooling around minus 196 degrees Celsius or minus 321 degrees Fahrenheit. The dream was always to find a superconductor that could operate at room temperature, making the vast benefits of superconductivity much more accessible. The real breakthrough seemed to have came in 2020 when a hydrogen sulfide compound doped with carbon was found to exhibit superconductivity at around 15 degrees C, 59 degree F at ambient pressure. Fast forward to the present though, the LK99 superconductor saga. What you're seeing is early footage of scientific testing conducted on this RTAP breakthrough that's been taking the world by storm. Whispers of LK99 echo from the corners of X, Twitch, and Reddit. This seemingly unassuming rock, believed to be a perfect superconductor, promised revolutionary changes, from nuclear fusion to levitating trains. Yet amidst the buzz and skepticism, the truth remains elusive. At first glance, LK99 might seem like just a dark gray rock. However, dig deeper, and you'd find a polycrystalline material crafted from lead, oxygen, phosphorus, and a pinch of copper. The creators, from South Korea's Quantum Energy Research Center, ignited the digital frenzy by claiming it as the first superconductor working perfectly in room temperatures. Make note that superconductors aren't new to our world. They pulse within MRI machines, quantum computers, and nuclear fusion devices. Yet today's superstars need extreme conditions to shine. Such a discovery, according to Professor Chris Grosvenor from Oxford, would not just win medals, but could also be the gateway to numerous technological marvels. We'll discuss more about these marvels soon enough in this video, so stay tuned. Despite its promising debut, LK99 faces a barrage of skepticism. The reasons? Inconsistent data, internal feuds between authors, and previous instances of superconductor drama. The materials science realm has witnessed tales of red matter, another rumored superconductor, later haunted by retractions and allegations. Moreover, there's the startling absence of the heat anomaly test in LK99's unveiling, which is akin to missing the secret ingredient in a magical potion. And the scale of its zero resistance claims? suspiciously vague. Imagine calling a soda sugar-free, but when checking it's almost but not quite free of sugar. The very composition of LK99 raises eyebrows, with its rocky start quite literally. It's more mineral than the usual malleable metal. The world now watches as scientists and enthusiasts alike attempt to recreate LK99. Some, like an engineer live-streaming on Twitch, make it an open challenge. Yet, while floating LK99 videos have caused quite the stir online, levitation doesn't necessarily equate to superconductivity. But wait. 
What if our digital world's darling, LK99, indeed turns out to be that perfect room temperature superconductor? The world would be a drastically different place in the future, one that would truly be out of the pages of a science fiction novel. RTAPs would fundamentally transform the way we live and interact with technology. This remarkable advancement would unlock possibilities that were once confined to the realm of science fiction, reshaping industries, revolutionizing transportation, transforming healthcare, and redefining the way we use and conserve energy. Here's a detailed glimpse into what a world with RTAP superconductors might look like. Let's start with the energy sector. RTAP superconductors would define our power grids entirely. Losses due to resistance in conventional conductors would be eradicated, enabling nearly 100% efficient transmission of electricity. This improvement would translate to lower energy costs for consumers and reduced need for excess power generation. It would also facilitate the integration of renewable energy sources, such as solar and wind, into the grid by allowing for more efficient storage and transmission. Energy conservation would become the norm, significantly reducing the world's carbon footprint. We're talking about something that could set a new standard for the world's carbon emissions and act as a potential savior to our planet's climate crisis. Oh, by the way, if you're liking this video, make sure you do us a favor by subscribing and hitting that bell icon so you never miss out on more epic content. You're officially an explorer now. Next is transportation. This sector would undergo a complete transformation. Magnetic levitation, as in maglev trains, relying on superconducting magnets, would become mainstream, connecting cities with fast, smooth, and energy-efficient travel. Electric vehicles would benefit from lighter and more efficient motors, enhancing their range, performance, and affordability. Even the aerospace industry would see advances, with new propulsion systems reducing fuel consumption and emissions. This would absolutely eradicate the carbon footprint of mobility in every shape and form on planet Earth. Let's take a look at the realm of medical advancements. In the healthcare sector, the widespread availability of RTAP superconductors would lead to groundbreaking developments in medical imaging and diagnostics. MRI machines and other imaging devices would become more affordable and accessible, allowing for earlier detection of diseases and more personalized treatment plans. The breakthrough costs and affordability would mean that the technology would be even more readily available in developing countries. Research in areas such as genetics and personalized medicine would accelerate, ushering in a new era of precision healthcare. The possibilities would be absolutely endless. How about computing and electronics? The impact would be profound to say the very least. Superconducting processors would result in faster and more energy efficient computers paving the way for advancements in artificial intelligence, data analysis, and complex simulations. Quantum computing, a field greatly benefited by superconducting materials, would also advance, solving problems previously thought intractable. This would lead to breakthroughs in materials, science, drug discovery, climate modeling, and more. Imagine a world where quantum computers were more accessible. Above all the benefits we've looked at thus far, this may lead to one of the greatest technological leaps in the shortest period of time in mankind's history. Scientific research would be completely different playing field. It would be absolutely enriched. Instruments like particle accelerators would become more affordable and efficient, expanding our understanding of the universe. Research in other cutting-edge technologies, such as fusion energy, could be accelerated, bringing us closer to a sustainable and virtually limitless energy source. This brings us to the social and economic impact. Access to affordable energy and advanced technology could reduce inequality, foster economic growth, and enhance education and opportunities, especially in developing regions. For example, superconducting technologies in communications could bridge the digital divide, providing better internet connectivity in remote areas, thus facilitating digital education and offering countless learning opportunities. The environmental benefits would also align with global efforts to combat climate change, contributing to a cleaner and more sustainable planet, which leads us right into the silent and possibly largest beneficiary of them all, our planet. The most profound and perhaps most crucial impact of RTAP superconductors lies in their indirect contribution to addressing the existential crisis of our times. 
Climate change. Efficiency reduces carbon footprint. Power generation is one of the largest contributors to greenhouse gas emissions. With RTAP superconductors ensuring minimal energy loss, there'd be a reduced need for excessive power generation. Over time, this could substantially decrease the associated emissions, slowing the pace of global warming. Encouraging renewable integration. One of the challenges with renewable energy sources like wind and solar is storage and transmission. Superconductors can facilitate efficient storage solutions and lossless transmission, making it economically and logistically feasible to integrate more renewables into the grid, further reducing our reliance on fossil fuels. Innovations in green tech. As superconductors get integrated into tech and transport solutions, we could see an emergence of innovative green technologies. For instance, electric vehicles could become far more efficient, further pushing the transition away from internal combustion engines and reducing emissions in the transportation sector. The biggest problem facing electric vehicles is currently twofold. They're too expensive, and if we were to fully transition, we simply don't have the electricity production capability to power them all. And finally, stimulating green economy. As the world realizes the potential of RTAP superconductors in fighting climate change, investments could pour into green tech and solutions based on them. This would not only drive economic growth, but also foster a sustainable green economy, aligning with global efforts to achieve climate goals. The only question remains, is the future now? Or is RTAP technology simply not here to save us yet? Only time will tell. Like the video? Make sure you hit the subscribe button and check out more top content from our channel by clicking the thumbnail. See you soon, explorers.